NASA has always been concerned about the possibility that something in space could harm the minds of their astronauts. Years before mankind first stepped into space, the agency began grappling with the issue. In the 1950s, an American psychiatric report warned that astronauts need to have stringent psych evaluations done because they found that they had bizarre motivations for wanting to go to space. They call it space madness. It's a big deal for NASA. If an astronaut loses it, that's the biggest potential threat to any space mission. Dealing with the threat of space madness is still a part of every astronaut's training. There's a procedure for a psychotic crew member. In that case, you would use duct tape to try to restrain the person and then administer a sedative. Neuroscientist Dr. Andy Newberg has conducted his own analysis of what's happening to astronaut brains. I always noticed that there was a big difference between those who had actually gone up into space and those who had not. It seems to reshape the way our brain works. The normal parts of our brain can get all out of whack. Other things that can happen in zero gravity include things like hallucinations, where you might hear something or smell something. A, a common phenomenon, for example, with astronauts was that they would see flashes of light. Initial research suggests that microgravity can inhibit the release of vital mood-altering hormones in the brain. But not everything that happens to astronauts' brains can be explained by gravity. There's another destructive force assaulting space travelers potentially even mutating them. When astronauts are up in space, they get exposed to a lot more radiation than we are down here on Earth. They can penetrate your body. They can break the DNA in the cells themselves. They're nasty. Uh, a destruction from the radiation of brain tissues that will make the brain not work as well. No one knows exactly how badly radiation is mutating our astronauts' brains. One thing is for certain. The deeper we travel into space, the greater the threat it poses to NASA's mission and the lives of our astronauts.